Hello everyone, some more losses from Nova Mihailivka here. This is a general accumulation of losses throughout January. I believe these are newly identified and newly documented losses, so we haven't seen these before. So, I guess add them to the growing list of losses here. No video is shared, only photos shared by Ukraine of the losses. Now, as you can see in the images, there's a large number of different types of vehicles seen here. Many of them were in their best cope cages for the occasion, which failed to cope. So, going through them, here, four vehicles were seen near the forefront. An unknown vehicle hiding behind some pylons. Then at the front, we have an NTLB and a BMP. Now, as this is just photos of the aftermath, we can't say for sure what actually destroyed these vehicles. I can't see signs of artillery strikes here, noticeable craters and the like, so I think this likely drones, missiles, maybe mines of the culprits here. To the left, there are more vehicles. Let's zoom in and see what we have there. So, you can see a BMP and an MTLB at the front. Then, a tank, two MTLBs and a BMP behind those. Now, it's unknown if these were all part of the same failed push or a combination of different ones. But given the location here, I think it very likely the tank two MTLBs and the BMP, which are in a sort of conga line, were part of the same push and disabled and abandoned at the same time. Now, the final image, the last three vehicles, a tank, an unidentified engineering vehicle of some kind, looks like it may have a mine roll of some description on the front, and a BMP. Let's check the geolocation, starting with these three. So they're marked on the map here, all heading west. This doesn't show as much, so I'll zoom out. Worryingly, this is very close to the outskirts of Novo Mihailivka, so Russia is slowly creeping forward, quite concerning. The next group of vehicles are on screen now. MTLB, BMP and the unknown vehicle behind the pylons, again heading west towards Novo Mihailivka. And again, this is very close to the edge of the town. These vehicles in a different position, so, a different push than the three we just looked at, but Russia again no doubt creeping closer in a different location. Our final one is here. Seven vehicles destroyed, four of which look to be part of the same column. These zoomed out are here, so once more a push towards the eastern part of Novo Mihailivka. You can see again, these were destroyed quite close to the town. Here it is on deep states, so the eastern edge of town in contested territory is where this occurred. And zoomed out, this is on the eastern front. So, 9 new losses here for Russia, which will be joining 99 others currently showing on war spotting as destroyed near Novo Mihailovka since the offensive began in early October. And this is just visually confirmed losses. The true number will be higher. So, that's it for this video. A short video, but full of a number of Russian losses here. Hope you found it interesting. Now, I'm going to play a video from the Ukraine Volunteer Center about the ongoing fundraiser with them. The donation links in the description. Thanks so much, and take care, everybody. Greetings from the Ukrainian Volunteer Center. Today we have to announce an urgent fundraising. The brigade that is destroying the occupiers in the Donetsk sector urgently needs cause. Nissan Navarro Diesel of 2008. These guys have been defending our country from the Russian invaders since the beginning of the full-scale war. After the shelling, they have almost no cars left, and now it's winter and it's very difficult to move around without a car. We also need 4,000 liters of diesel fuel for the 3rd separate battalion of Ukrainian Volunteer Army Volin. Also, spring uniform is required, assault vests with quick release system, etc. The goal of fundraising is $24,500. We realize that it's a lot of money, and at the same time we ask for understanding for our situation. If everyone donated at least $50, we would close the fundraising in 6 hours. Indeed, each of your donation is a lifesaver and matter of our country liberated. We will send 3 sets of glasses with the symbols of our foundation to 3 people. Two sets of glasses for people who make the biggest donation and the third set will be randomly drawn among people who have made a donation of $50 or more. All the reports of PayPal and cryptocurrency will be available as usual after the fundraising. Thank you for helping us. 
Thank you for being with us with Rafi Mukai from Ukraine.